News on the Hour, sponsored by Eggland's Bed. I'm Matt Piper in New York. The House has decided to condemn Congressman Paul Gosar over a video he tweeted out that depicted him killing his colleague, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. What is so hard about saying that this is wrong? The vote was 223 to 207, largely along party lines. Gosar says he eventually did take that video down. If I must join Alexander Hamilton, the first person attempted to be censored by this House, so be it. It is done. Democrats say the action is necessary because House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has refused to discipline Gosar. It's now prosecutors' turn to grill Travis McMichael. The Georgia man decided to take the stand in his own defense today. He's on trial for shooting and killing Ahmaud Arbery last year. McMichael claims they tussled over his gun. I don't know exactly when or where or if he's continued grabbing, but we were together, we were locked up. He was on that shotgun. The defense in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial is asking for a mistrial at issue a drone video which shows the shooting and killing of Joseph Rosenbaum who was charging at Rittenhouse when he opened fire. Jurors are granted their request to again see video from the trial. Some of it is drone video that prompts the defense to ask for a mistrial based on what it calls inferior key evidence given to them. Prosecutors call it too much focus on a technical glitch and say Rittenhouse lied on the stand about what happened in that video. The judge allows it to be played. Jennifer Kuyper, CBS News, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Iranian-backed hackers are accused of targeting some critical U.S. sectors. Hackers linked to the Iranian government are targeting a broad range of victims in the U.S. This according to an advisory issued by officials in this country, the U.K., and Australia. The hacks include deployment of ransomware. The advisory says the hackers have targeted transportation, health care, and public health sectors. Microsoft this week said it had seen six different groups in Iran deploy ransomware since last year. Steve Futterman, CBS News. 41 months in prison. That was a sentence for Jacob Chansley, the so-called QAnon shaman seen at the January 6th Capitol insurrection with a feather hat and red, white, and blue paint on his face. Albert Watkins is his attorney. He has finality. He has the resources now through the Bureau of Prisons and access to the health care that he needs. An estimated 100,000 Americans died of drug overdoses in one year. The new government numbers are a never-before-seen milestone that health officials say is tied to the COVID-19 pandemic and a more dangerous drug supply. The Dow lost 211, NASDAQ down 52. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.